All right, guys, I thought I'd do a quick update on our uh, aquaponic system and how that's going. And as you can see, it's going very well. I'm inside the heart of the system, which is our greenhouse. Uh, it was about uh, 38 degrees last night. I don't know when it got down to it here, but it's kind of chilly out right now. And I can tell you, it's, it's, uh, it's like a nice warm spring day in here right now. And uh, you can see it looks like spring in here. That tomato plant is up to the roof. I need to get up there and uh, train it along here and I probably need to break out the q-tips and uh, pollinate it. It's got blossoms all over it but I don't think we're getting much pollinator action in here and everything just looks healthy. This is a pitcher plant that's more of an ornamental. It's throwing pups already. We'll be able to harvest those and actually sell off pitcher plants which actually sell uh, for quite a good price. So this is a little product that can help pay for what we're doing here. The purple basil just looks gorgeous. And uh, the sweet basil, the leaves on this thing are incredible. And it was it was twice as tall. We whacked the top off it before it got out of hand. And uh, more purple basil back here. We got some uh, Swiss chard and beets going. Uh, just really beautiful fennel. I mean, uh, without spilling my tea, climb up here. We got fennel going here. Um, Need to actually prune off some of the, the suckers off this tomato. This thing's just taking over the world in here. And uh, that's one of the ebb and flow beds. Over here, we've got less going on, but we've got a ton of mint. And uh, that's really what's just put in there to be a, a filter plant to get the system going. I got more fennel here. I got, I got flour on my fennel. I've never actually had flour on fennel before. And then Back in here, take a look at this. See that? Let me try to let me get that mint leaf. Yeah, we'll just take that out of there. Okay, that is celery. That celery that was planted on Thanksgiving Day, there's several of them back in there. And what you do when you're done with your celery, you just cut it, cut it about like that, leave the bottom on it, and drop that in there, and it'll start to root and grow. And it'll regrow over and over. We can just harvest it as a cut and come again. Again, we got four of them in there because I used a lot of celery for Thanksgiving. And uh, another little trick I picked up from Dave, we got some parsley here uh, who helped me build this, but uh, is garlic. So we got garlic grown in here. And we use it out of this more as like chives. We just cut the tops off and it keeps growing back. And that's as easy as it can get. I thought I had one up here I could show you starting to root. Oh, there it is. So that's been in there about five days. And it's just tucked into the top of the, uh, of the lava rock. And it'll sprout and it'll start to grow. And I got tons of them back in there. So to me, that's just easier than trying to grow chives in a system like this. Uh, fish are doing good. The water's actually really clear, but because of the way the lighting is in here, it's very hard to really see anything. Um, basically, we've got tilapia, bluegill, and some uh, goldfish in here. We'll go over here to the quail, see how things are doing in here. Well, the quail are very happy, and uh, I'm really enjoying... Uh, racing them this way instead of in cages. I guess it's one big giant cage, but they don't seem to feel like it's a cage at all. And uh, you can see we've got our shade cloth on this structure. We've got lighting here, and we've got lighting underneath each of these stands, LED lighting. And um, the LED on the stands is really, really high quality lighting, but it wasn't enough. They weren't really laying. Uh, we got about 40 girls in here, and we were getting like six eggs this time of year with the really short days i added these guys like a week ago and uh, we're up to like 20 25 eggs a day now which is still not where they should be but it's a hell of a lot better huh girls so uh so we got going on here our raft bed i mean this stuff's been cut it's come back it's been cut it's come back it's been cut it's come back it's lettuce it's chard it's uh basically different lettuces and different shards and, and this is just our, our perpetual salad right now out of this one little tank and uh, still doing just really good over here this other deep water tank 
Uh, we put in mainly for extra fish, but we did put one little raft bed in it. Uh, I got lettuce plants for it uh, from the store when we first planted it, just to get something into it. And they were all right, but they didn't last real long. They were already close to bolting when we put them in. Um, but I'm trying a little experiment here. You can see these little plants here? Instead of starting plants and putting them in, what I did was drop lava rock in each of these little net cups and then put one little dollop, like a little half a teaspoon of soil on the top. So to wick and drop a couple black, uh, black seeded Simpson seeds in it. And we'll see how that goes. Now, commercial op operation never do this because you're giving this space up for a much longer period of time. There's two of us and that's already more than I can eat. So uh, I've got time. So I wanna see if this works. And if it saves me the step of starting plants, you know, just a couple beds like this in a rotation, Again, how much lettuce does a man need? We've got some uh, sunflower sprouts underneath there that'll be coming up, growing microgreen sunflowers again. We had a uh, minor catastrophe with this bed because some of the students play with the float valve. Uh, I've drained it. We're thinking about how we're going to configure it, whether we're going to put it back the way it was or change it into one of these types of beds. Um, this bed here is running on a continuous flow. It, it's basically, we'll go back over here a second. All right, it's basically one of these beds, but made as a wicking bed. Underneath the soil, there's a stand-up just like this. There's a piece of landscaping fabric down, and then there's soil on top of it. And that water's running through the bottom over and over and recirculating through the bottom. It's coming in. You just can't see where it's coming in, just like that is. So, so imagine this under soil over here. And we've been real happy with this bed, and I've just seeded it. You know, in winter, there's only so much you can do, but I've seeded it with basically like a mescaline mix. Uh, so this will be more like, instead of just big leaves, it'll be like a baby greens mix. And this little area here grow us a ton. And we'll decide whether we want to do the front or not. I've tried as an experiment. We'll see how they go. Uh, I did carrots from here forward. And uh, even if we just grow them as baby carrots, maybe even grow some uh, mescaline around them or something, be cool. Uh, but I've never been really successful other than my place in Arkansas growing carrot. So we'll see how they, uh, if they germinate at all, you can see the mescaline is all up. And these lines here that I've done the carrot seed in, carrots need light and moisture, and they have both of it here. I didn't cover them hardly at all, um, but I still have no germination. Now, we still have time yet for them to germinate. I think it's only been, I think that's all been four or five days, and carrots sometimes will take up to 10 days to, to germinate. So we'll see. And if they work, they work, and if they don't, we'll just mescal in the whole daggone thing. So. That's where the aquaponic system's at. Um, still got to get these things automated. We've had trouble automating the watering. I've got a kind of a new plan to work that out. Uh, but the quail aren't much work at all. I mean, they're they're 10 minutes a day if they're that. You fill up their buckets uh, once every couple days. It takes them quite a few days to go through three uh, water buckets. Fill up their feeders every other day. Pick up their eggs once a day. And uh, they just kind of see to themselves. It's getting time for another load of wood chips in here. And uh, other than that, we're looking pretty good heading into winter. I hope you enjoyed it today. We're gonna see Dana. I think her dream in life is to get inside this aviary with those quail, but uh, she's not allowed. We'll catch up with you later. Man, it's December. It just makes me happy that I'm looking at that in December. Talk to you guys later.